Hey guys, and welcome back to some more Factorio building big, and, uh, yeah, so we're back at base. A few things we need to do here. First, we should probably add another solar layout, because, well, our power's fine now. Of course it is when I go to check, but, uh, when everything's on, we are pushing our limits, and apparently my FPS has decided to derp again, so that's good. Um, but yeah. So we're going to add another solar out, and then we need to go kill some biters, deploy some dudes to kill the biters, uh, one way or other, because we're out of goop again. Uh, so all our power armor production is stopped, all our module production is stopped, and, uh, yeah, sad day. So, let me see if I can line this thing up. Is there a specific way this is supposed to be facing? I feel like there is, but, oh shit. No, 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 no. Not... no. No. <laughs> I do not want these guys working on this, you idiots. Well, they'll, uh, do that, maybe? And here goes my game. I don't get it, man. I can... I seem to be, be able to record other Factorio stuff without an issue. I don't really understand what the problem is. Um... I wonder, well, these guys should be able to reach that RoboPort to put that in. And then this one should be able to reach that. I don't know where they're, okay, here they come. They're just really, really slow. Okay, so if we hop back on here, um, we need to figure out where we want to go kill aliens. Because um, we do, we need quite a bit of goop, guys, so... It looks like there's a few bases left here. Um, we're actually running out of aliens to kill, which is interesting. Um, there's a base here we really need to go wipe out. I'm not equipped to do so at the moment, so we'll have to go grab some stuff. But uh, but yeah, so the new series uh, started, the Reclaiming Earth series with uh, Will and Zuri and Exedith and all those great guys. So yeah, it seems like the first episode was really well received and you guys are looking forward to it. I'm really looking forward to doing it. We already recorded like seven episodes worth in the first session and we're actually recording more tonight. Um, I think it's going to be really fun. It's that uh, we've kind of made it past that, you know, initial part of the game that is just a little bit monotonous, but uh, I think it's going to really turn into something super, super good. And, uh, and yeah, so check that out if you haven't. It should be quite interesting. Um, I'm just trying to check and see what exactly is going on. I don't know why my FPS decides to like limit itself to 30 um, for seemingly no reason whatsoever. Um, I tore down my uh, flamer fuel, didn't I? In fact, where is our heavy oil? I have to like check this oil constantly. Um, my guess would be that we're actually backed up on light oil so that these aren't actually producing potentially. We're actually backed up on petroleum. That, That is a surprise. Um, that won't be an issue once we start needing to make stuff. Um, I could put these in here to jumpstart it because we're going to be making tons of plastic and stuff once everything kicks back on, but until that point uh, it's kind of not working. So, let me go dump this in our silly little storage thingy up here. These big-ass icons. Um, put those in there. Man, I was just looking for speed modules, too, to put in the pump jacks, and I looked for, like, 30 seconds in my inventory straight. I couldn't find any. It's always like when you're specifically looking for it, you know, you can't find it. And uh, then when you're not, it just, like, it's so easy to see. Um, so we're just going to have to send these guys out. I don't really know where to go. I mean, they could go here. We really do need to, to take this out. Um, I should have some dudes. Let's grab some of these. And, man, I really, really need a flamethrower. I could actually, uh, I could use these. Uh substitute it so like I'll deploy these way down at the bottom and they can go kill that one base. They'll they'll pretty much be my flamethrower and then I'll deploy these other guys at the top. Um this solar could be torn up 
I mean, it's still connected. It still works, but it's kind of silly. Screw you, trees. Um, some stone here. We might want to mine, although I think we're, I mean, we're pretty good on walls, in all honesty. We have, like, 5,000 walls or something. Do need to finish that as well. Um, this is top priority, obviously, because everything stopped without the goop. Um, I just need to be more proactive, I think, about sending out the, uh, the dudes. So, for this one, we just want the flamers. Uh, I think that's good. As long as they don't catch me on fire. Uh, we might actually want... Now, these are gonna, like, catch these on fire because they're idiots, but... <laughs> I guess we'll see what happens, right? Um, let me save the game just in case, because I haven't taken a save, and that would have been quite bad. Um, so, they're actually really probably just going to get wrecked if I guessed here. Um, I'll just, like, waste all my distractors, have them kill these bases. Because I don't, even, I don't know if these guys are going to make it too far, to be honest. Come on, dudes. I don't really care about the worms. I just want these bases dead. Man, thank god for bold upgrades though, huh? Pick up the thingy, man. Oh god, run. Ah, that was good enough. <laughs> um, I literally have like nothing to kill these guys. Wow. This, uh, this ammo actually kind of tears through these, with these, with these, uh, upgrades. We're, do we're doing pretty good. Okay, so that got us, netted us a few artifacts, um, but mostly just cleared that out. Um, the only thing there is worms, I think, which I don't really care. I mean, the worms don't do anything unless I go over there. Um, squad 27's dead. This, uh, is missing a bajillion construction bots. I want to check on that. Take these out so my dudes don't get any ideas in their heads. Um, hmm. I think the I think we're still having issues with these uh these robo ports connecting. Or all my robots are like stupid. I really don't know. I mean, like, come on, dude. You can you can build. You can do that. <laughs> Uh, you can stick a robot port out here. I know you can, um, because this is in construction range. We're just missing robots. How are we missing... Like, we should have... ...that many robots. Unless I somehow got them stuck in another network. There's a thousand. And there's still... Oh, wait, no, those were logistics, sorry. It's 260. I could have sworn we had way more than that, guys. I thought we had like 500 or something. Well, let's go add some more. Can't hurt, right? Um, yeah, there's not much more. 50 something. I want to make sure that I keep some for myself, obviously. But that should help out at least a little. And, uh, yeah, let's go deploy this squad, and then we can work on stuff in the base here. That's kicking back on, and, uh, so red circuit should be going back on, which means plastic, and our, uh, petroleum backup should hopefully be fixed at that point. The ore and stuff is doing good, um, like we discussed last time, I don't think I actually need to expand the smelter quite yet. Uh, most of these trains are actually going back pretty much full, so... Uh... Yeah, and then I think tomorrow's stream, um, tomorrow's Wednesday, right? Yeah, I stream on Wednesday, so tomorrow's stream, um, I think I'll work on this. I played on the server the last two streams, and it's kind of at a point where there's not that much to do on the server until I actually build the new one, and, uh, we get mods and stuff and start a new map. And at that point, I'll probably do several streams playing on there, but we have a lot to do still in building big here, so, uh, get working on that. And, uh, some gates would be wonderful game, thank you. Okay, so... Let's see if we can make this all one squad. Oh 
Okay, that's everything. Um, they're just gonna, like, destroy the forest, but... Uh, I mean, these are these guys are just for distractions, right? They're literally... I mean, they, they do a little bit, I guess, but they die super fast. Um, they're pretty much just distractions for these other guys to do the work. I mean, you can see <laughs> these worms are just, like, one-shotting them. Honestly, I think I could probably up the limit on those Terminator bots to, like, at least 20, even. I mean, they're not too expensive. They, they only take modular armor, so... Well... Yeah, I mean, modular armor is not that expensive when, when you consider we're making thousands of normal armor and uh, hundreds of level 2 armors, so... Not that bad. This is... Okay, that's that one. I thought that was a new one we set up. I was kind of disoriented. I was like, how the hell is that mined out already? Alright. Head back to base. Change the limit. And uh, we'll work on stuff here. So, I'm going to leave those. We still sometimes get little sneaky dudes back in here. And this is working only because the circuits were backed up for a long time when we had no goop. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Change you to like... 25 even like a whole squad like 25 of these would pretty much rip through anything Get rid of that All this little stuff that does not need to be here Okay, so red circuits um, are good here um, This has gone up 2088 or is that 80? 2080 sorry um, That's good. This guy is up to 33 nowhere near enough. Um, did I like Yo. Yo, yo. What, um, inserter, friend, what exactly are you doing? Does this not work? Are you stupid? Um, what? <laughs> like, what the hell, man? Come on. I'm just gonna limit it. I don't know why he can't pick that up. He's stupid. Um, okay, well, we have, like, seven sitting there. Still missing goop. Um, <laughs> Those are going good. These guys... Kind of? They're actually still short on plastic. I mean, come on. It takes two and we're requesting 30. Like, like, wouldn't that be enough? You would think that would be enough. Well, come on. Fine, you stupid thing. I'm just gonna up it until it works. That's, that's my solution. I'm gonna... I'm just going to keep increasing it until it works, or until we run out of something, which is probably circuits at this point. Or probably out of circuits, would be my guess. Um, well, it's full belt, but these guys, uh, I mean, these guys are picking it up as fast as they can, and the uh, robots are picking it up from there pretty much as fast as they can, so... That's interesting. Huge pollution cloud. Um, okay, so, let's see. We have some resource patches here we could tap into. I'm trying to, like, figure out exactly... Okay, this is not needed. Um, exactly what is uh, needed here, guys. Like, I mean, we could just infinitely increase production, I suppose. Like, we could just increase these. Although, the bottleneck is not the production rate of these uh, directly. It's, well, it is the production rate, but that's because of a lack of stuff. And so I guess, like, I guess this is kind of a, a little teeny mini tutorial on, uh, like, identifying bottlenecks and figuring out stuff you need to do in your factory is if we kind of work backwards from the chain here. Um, we can figure out, like, these, the, the red guys and the green guys, are kind of our bottleneck on the blue ones, which is bottleneck on the armor, um, typically. So if we want to produce armor faster, then um, really what we need to do is produce these faster and green circuits faster. And part of what's required to produce these faster is we need more green circuits. So we kind of need, like, double more green circuits, if that makes sense. Um, and then... Even more plastic. I set that to 40, and they're only bringing 30. 
And we're not out of robots, so... Um, that's pretty shit. <laughs> uh, okay, so these guys are actually just... I mean, they're, they are going, literally, they are going as fast as they can. And it's not fast enough. That is uh, pretty much the only problem. Okay, well, see, so we figured out one issue. Let's uh, let's add another one. Will one fit here? One will fit here. Um, hmm. Barely, <laughs> barely safe. Uh, okay, so make some of these. Oh, we already did. Great. And this doesn't work. Screw you, game. Um, hmm. Does this go anywhere? We can move this. Totally doable. I'm not sure if that even fixed the issue. Did that even fix the issue? I think it just, like, moved it. Um, because I think we only have room for one now. And we kind of need room for two. This is so convoluted. I don't know what these FPS hits are. It's really starting to piss me off. Um, I don't get it. Like, I'm just randomly, like, my game's just tanking for no reason. Oh, actually, there might be a reason. Um, <laughs> yeah, maybe. Um, I don't know, guys. I, I don't understand. I need a new computer. <laughs> That's what I need. Okay, so... Wait. Was this literally just not connected this entire time? Or did I just not do that? Well, who knows. Thanks, autosave. Things were going so good. Okay, so you guys... Uh, wow. Sure, let's, uh, well, actually, no, we can, we can stick a splitter here, do a smart exterm, come on. Be smart. Now, it's only gonna be on one side, mind you, so that should be interesting. Um, throw some speed in here, because why not? And, uh, then also, this actually might, uh, I don't think it needs to be red belt, but it's a little bit annoying, I mean, at this point in the game, like, come on. We shouldn't be having yellow belt. And we're actually out of coal now, which is not good. So that could be part of our plastic issue, is that, like, for a good 10 or 12 seconds, um, we just have no coal. Which means we're actually using it really quickly. Dude, these FPS drops are really, really gonna annoy me. I don't know if it's Fraps that's doing it, or my game, or my computer. I really don't know. It's like so hard to troubleshoot this, like, I guess I could try without fraps, but OBS just lags on this map anyway. Could be all the mods, I really have no idea. Um, it doesn't do it when I stream though. It might be my hard drive. That's possible. Well, no, that would only be for recording. I don't know guys. Um, okay, so this is inserting pretty much as quick as it can. Um, and they're, they're only picking up a portion of it. So this should 100% not be a bottleneck. Like, come on. If it's a bottleneck, it's because these idiot robots can't get it here fast enough. I think it's okay-ish. Um, watching it here in the, in the right, it looks like they are getting it there. It's the, uh, green circuits that seem to be the issue. So, tracking all the way back, um, we need more green circuits. And this belt's full. And this belt's full. Wait, what? Is this, why is this belt full? What the hell's going on here, man? Are we out of goop again? No, we're out of circuits again. Red circuits. God damn it, I'm so confused, guys. What is happening? Do we just not have enough red circuit production? Um, maybe the robots are getting stalled too much? That's possible. That is actually definitely possible. Let me, um, let's go ahead and add some more RoboPorts. Um, kind of on their route here. Like here, for example. 
seems to be a hot spot for them to stop at. Um, I mean, there really is not that many. I think we just need to up the requests even more. Green circuits are not a problem. And it looks... Well, I mean, they're keeping up, though, right? These are completely... Run now, part of the issue, actually, is the copper. Can you really not bring enough copper for this? Wow. <laughs> I'm requesting 150, and this can't do it. You've got to be kidding me. I mean, it is having to... They are having to bring it from, like, halfway across the base, but... What a pain. Um, one thing we could do is we could insert some productivity. You notice this one has them, and the other one doesn't. So, uh... You know, that would probably help. Yes, it would slow it down, but these are all speed beaconed. And holy hell, I do not need that many. I mean, really, we could probably get away with that many, but... I'd prefer to just stick with two for now. Um, and this maybe should help the copper wire as well, uh, simply because we don't need it as fast since this slows down the machines, right? So... I need module inserter. I keep forgetting. <laughs> it's not that I, like, ignore the suggestions. Um, I just forget. And, like, half the time I forget to make the note after I read it. So, it's like an endless chain of forgetting. Now, one of these wasn't working. And it's just, it's, it's this. This stupid... This, these robots, dude. <laughs> these robots are really pissing me off. Um, 200? I don't know. I guess, I guess we'll just go with the motto. Increase it until it completely breaks or until it works. One or the other. Uh, okay, so where are they bringing copper from? We might be able to add a closer insertion point. Uh, yeah, not really. Uh, we could fix these inserters because they suck. And there's actually not much copper coming down here. Some red belt might help. I, I really can't believe we're still on yellow belt here, but... Um, it may actually... Whoops. It, um, could very possibly, guys, actually just be a shortage of copper. Now that I'm looking at this... Yeah, that's actually very, very possible. Could just be a shortage of copper here. Why am I hitting all the wrong buttons? Oh my god, this is such a... <laughs> There's so much to do. Alright. Um... So maybe... Maybe we do need to increase the smelting at that area. So we can actually send some more down the main bus. Now, I don't know if they're pulling from this. If they are, that could certainly be the issue. If they have to fly... Yeah. Let's just get rid of that. That alone might help. Actually, I think, guys, I think just red belting this may fix the issue. Um, yellow belt for the stage that we're in right now is so, so, uh, so slow. I don't want, I don't want all this. You, you silly robots. Take it. Take it away. I don't need all those either. Uh, go throw those in the power armor thing. It's just like endless yellow belt. I'm not gonna do... I'm gonna finish this off screen, I think, because, I mean, how entertaining can this be? Oh, never mind, we're almost done. Thank God. Hopefully, this resolves the issue. I mean, there's not that much copper to begin with, so it probably actually won't. We only have one line coming in. So, I think, yeah, adding... Changing the smelting train thing around up he here, and then having this another thing, another train of copper come in would be good. 
I mean, this is for iron. It's not ideal. Um, I think these are full lines, and these are completely full. Blue belt is about as good as I can do, though. Although this is blue, then being slowed down to red, this might actually help. And of course, I'm out of blue stuff. Um, that might actually do it for this video. Yeah, we're 23 minutes. I'm gonna end it a little early because um, I have some other stuff I need to do, and then we're recording the uh, Earth thing tonight as well, and I need to have energy for that. So I think that's gonna do it for this one, guys. We did actually get a bit done. Um, kind of figured out the actual bottleneck, added some more solar. At some point, they should be done with it. Deployed some dudes. Um, I actually did they die? Oh no, they're just like chilling here, doing absolutely nothing. Well, that's good. Great. Um, at least they gave us a few artifacts for a while, and, uh, yeah, I'll upgrade the rest of this to Blue Bell off-screen or on the stream tomorrow, probably. And we are out of artifacts again. We might have to just manually go biter hunting. It's more fun anyway, though, right? But yeah, until, uh, until next time, guys, as always, thanks for watching. Hope you all enjoyed. Any feedback or anything, leave down in the comments. And, uh, yeah, until then, I look forward to seeing you all, and do take care.